Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three amazing, amazing recipes for you. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will put my recipe website which is where you will find all of today's recipes as well as nutrition coaching for personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend this is what I follow to lose and maintain a 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, it's amazing. We'd love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm making a breakfast quinoa bowl. I'm so excited for this. I've been craving quinoa, and we are going to top it with everything whole food, delicious and healthy. So let me show you what you'll need. So for the quinoa bowl itself, you'll need cooked quinoa. So what I have here is one cup uncooked quinoa, two cups of water. I'm just making that in my little dash rice cooker. This cooks quinoa, rice, bulgur. I love it. Love, love, love it. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it for you. And we're going to kind of double cook this. So I'm pre-cooking my quinoa. And then for the quinoa itself, we are going to need vanilla extract, milk of your choice. Of course, I'm using Fairlife, some cinnamon, and some salt. And then to top your quinoa bowls, really, that's completely up to you. I pulled out a few options of things you could add. You could also add some yogurt. That would be really good on the bowl. There's so some options are things like peanut butter or nut butter, any type of fruit. I have raspberries, an apple, banana, kind of whatever sounds good to you. Nuts are also a great addition as well as seeds like chia seeds or even some hemp seeds. So totally up to you what you add to the top of your quinoa bowl. So I added my quinoa to a saucepan with half of a cup of milk, half a teaspoon vanilla extract, pinch of salt, and about a tablespoon of cinnamon. We're going to put this on the stove top and allow this to warm through. I did go ahead and add a couple tablespoons of sugar-free syrup. You can do that as well to sweeten your quinoa base, but this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like cream of wheat consistency, and that, of course, is the base of your quinoa bowl, and this is the base of your quinoa bowl, and then when I go to eat it, I'll add whatever toppings that I choose to add. Now, I made this into four servings, so we'll divide the quinoa evenly between four separate bowls for breakfast. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you for the quinoa itself, no toppings included because those are up to you. So I'm cooking my rice for my pineapple fried rice in my instant pot. I went ahead and doubled the amount of rice just so that I had some cooked for Lola. That way she can have her rice and chicken after she goes through chemo this next week. She usually doesn't eat very well for a couple of days. So I decided to go ahead and cook a little bit of extra rice. For my lunch this week, I'm making pineapple fried rice. Let me show you what you'll need. So first you'll need the cooked rice. You saw me cook mine in the Instant Pot. You want three cups total of cooked rice. And then you're going to need frozen corn and frozen peas. So I do have a partial bag of frozen corn. I also have just a little bit left of the peas, green beans, and carrots. I'm going to use that and then some frozen peas. Salt and pepper. I'm using the 97.3 ground chicken breast. This is zero points on WW. I'm adding this for some extra protein. You'll also need cashews, sesame oil, a pineapple, soy sauce or oyster sauce, whatever your preference. And, and then for veggies, you'll need carrots, red bell pepper, green onions, and a couple of eggs. So the first thing for our fried rice is we're going to go ahead and cook down our pound of ground chicken. So I went ahead and removed the ground chicken from the pan, put it in a bowl, and then to my skillet, I'm adding my chopped up bell pepper and my carrots. I didn't cut up as many carrots as the recipe called for because I'm using that pea carrot green bean blend, but we're going to allow these to saute down until softened. Now we're going to push the bell pepper and carrots off to the side. And I scrambled two eggs with about a teaspoon of my green onions and we're going to add the eggs to the skillet. And then just scramble those for about a minute. And then we're adding in our frozen vegetables. 
and mixing all that together for about another minute. And then we're adding in our three cups of cooked rice. And again, mix that in really well with those veggies. Now I'm going to add back in my ground chicken and stir that into the rice. And now we're going to add in our diced up pineapple and our cashews. Mix those in, and I did crank up the heat a little bit to kind of fry up the rice a little bit more. So we're going to allow this to cook for a couple more minutes. We're going to add in one teaspoon of sesame oil, and then you can do a tablespoon of soy sauce or oyster sauce. And then again, we're going to stir that to combine and allow it to saute down for a couple more minutes. And then lastly, we're adding in the remaining green onions and some salt and pepper. Stir that up, and then I just like to let this saute or cook until those green onions are soft. All right, the pineapple fried rice is done. This looks so good. It smells absolutely amazing this entire pan and this is my big caraway skillet makes only six servings so it is a good amount you're getting veggies carbs and protein so i'll go ahead and put points calories macros here on the screen for you for a sweet treat this week i'm making homemade orange bars these are the perfect warm weather spring summer treat so let me show you what you'll need first you're going to need powdered sugar i'm using lakanto powdered you'll also need all-purpose flour sweetener of your choice again using lakanto granulated light butter four eggs at room temp, and then a couple of oranges. So first thing we're going to do for the orange bars is make up the crust. So for the crust, we need one cup of powdered sugar alternative, two cups all-purpose flour, and then one cup cold light butter. And then we're going to mix this all together, and that's what's going to form the crust. And then we're going to press the crust into a parchment-lined 9 by 13 baking dish. Crust is going into a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes or until the edges are brown. So to a bowl, I added some orange zest, about a tablespoon. That's about the most that you want to do because it is pretty strong. And then I'm going to crack in my four eggs at room temperature. One cup of Lakanto granulated. And then I squeeze the two oranges. This is a Pampered Chef juicer, love this, for about two thirds of a cup of orange juice. And then we're going to mix this together until fully combined. I just took the crust out of the oven. I forgot to tell you that I also added in a quarter cup of flour. And we're just going to pour the orange mixture right on top of the crust. Just make sure that gets spread out nice and even. And then it's going back into our oven for about 20 minutes. Orange bars are out of the oven. These look so good. You know that they're done when they're set completely and they're a little bit browned on top. So I'm going to allow these to cool completely and then we'll go ahead and cut them into bars. So I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing breakfast, lunch, and a sweet treat for the week definitely check out my recipe website that is where you will find all of today's recipes and all of my recipes in general and in the description box you'll also find nutrition coaching links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group we'd love to have you happy Monday I hope you enjoy these three recipes and they set you up for a successful week see you in the next one bye